All right, let's take a quick look at Canvas just to see what our goals are for the week. We've got a brand new module open for week 11. So we've got some objectives where we are uh, going to talk about service providers. Now, the class so far, we've been working with, uh, with stuff about MAMP or we've been working on stuff that doesn't need a full website, well, eventually you want to have a real website that's out there on the real world. You know, I want to have victor.com or, you know, victorsbakery.com or whatever, dot biz, dot whatever. We're going to need to get a service provider for that. Now, class material, there is, um, there, there is the book, uh, which I believe is officially labeled as, as optional, um, but there is also, eventually you want to get your own piece of the internet that is not free, although there are free alternatives, but there will be an assignment where you're going to research this week. You're going to research, well, what's a service provider? How much does it cost? How does it work and such? Then we'll have a lecture about it next week. But for this week, you're going to do an assignment where you're going to evaluate a service provider. You're also going to have a marketing strategy assignment. Last week you had a company profile, which was this Word document that you had to fill out about your company, about your business, your website. You can have something similar to that, but this will be a collaborative thing. It'll be one of the sort of like group things we do in class. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll have that, you'll, you'll do this with a partner in class. And so you're going to need to turn in the service provider discussion. That's one of the assignments. And then the other is the marketing strategy assignment, which is collaborative. Those are the two big things right there. And I thought I noted it here too. But we're also then going to go into looking at, um, remember a couple of weeks ago, we, we backed up our website with Duplicator. And I said, we're going to have a lecture on how to bring it back to life. Some of you have already uh, gone on to kind of learn that a little bit on your own, which is good. But we're going to have our lecture today on how do we bring back that website that uh, we backed up with Duplicator um, a few weeks ago. So we're going to have that lecture in a moment. If you don't have your website from a few weeks ago, you can borrow mine. We'll get to that soon enough. The resources for the week. The actual document that you need to fill out is listed in that resources, so you can download that, and um, we'll look at that in a little bit. There's an article on Wikipedia as your starting point for your services service providers um, assignment. S specifically, at the end of the document, there's a section. This is not a real clickable thing. This is inside of the article. There's a section: domain name managers and registrars, and this lists a dozen or some or so providers that you could possibly choose from to do the assignment or you can research your own providers if you've heard of other providers or if you want to look some up those are the two resources that we need for the the homeworks this week week one discussion service provider discussion uh, do Wednesday then do Friday as usual this will be the discussion that you need to do uh, you're going to visit that Wikipedia article. You can read the article. I would recommend you read the article, but at the very least, you go to the very end where the website management box is at, and from there, you pick one provider to do some research. Now, I do have listed here, or if you, can, if, you, if you know of other providers or you want to look up other ones, you want to do your own search on the search engine for alternatives, you definitely could, or you can start with the... Uh, examples that I've got listed at the link. So what you're going to do here on Canvas is you're going to research these companies. You're going to tell me what's the company, what's its address, um, and then prices. I want to look up prices because yes, there are free alternatives, but oftentimes you get what you pay for. And if you pay zero, you don't get the best. You usually do have to pay some amount of money to put your name on online, your company website, you know, victorsbakery.com, or, you know, amazingtacos.biz, or whatever. And there's a bunch of new dot whatevers. There's dot cool, dot dog, what else, dot xyz. There's a bunch of new dot extensions that exist. That'll be part of the research that you might do here. 
How much does it cost? Because it actually costs different amount of money for different dot whatevers. Question. Is this a typeout or a video? This is a typing out thing. Did I, might, did I write video anywhere here? Uh, it should not be a video thing. Oops, see below to record. No, it's just notes there. If you want to do the video version, I always have the option that if you want to do a video version of it, you could. But I would, um, you know, I've got the details at least there for the, uh, the type typed out version. So you're going to research these companies. How much does it cost to buy a domain and how much does it cost to buy a hosting? First of all, I don't even know what those are. Well, that article up here on Wikipedia leads you to some of these readings to learn about this stuff. And we'll have our own deeper discussion on this next week. I want you to start researching these providers, these companies. Do you get free stuff? There's so many companies out there that exist. They're always fighting each other to give you the best deals. Some of them might give you a free year of this or that or whatever. So there's, um, there's often deals. So that's going to be your first entry. And then you're going to reply just to at least one more if you want. Reply to them. And, and just for something interesting, this will be an opposite where we're going to be negative. We've always been positive. I would not purchase service here because... You need to look at the example of what that person selected and figure out why you would not go with that company that they wrote about. I think sometimes finding people's gripes with things is very useful. Everyone's so positive all the time, but sometimes the negative uh, is, is interesting to read because it might help you determine what your needs are. So this is the discussion. You're going to research a company. Tell us a little bit about it in the discussion here, and then reply to at least one person about why you would not pick that company. And uh, usual 10 points and such, the rubric is listed up there, and it's just going to be reply in discussion. Any questions on that? That's the first assignment, the one that's due by Friday. Okay, so the next item is the marketing strategy. In the marketing strategy, this is a collaborative assignment, which means that you're going to have a partner. And good news, I get to pick your partner for you, so you don't have to stress. I've got here everyone's name here, and I'm going to pick people's name randomly, and you're going to be you're going to have a partner. So we're going to do that a little bit later. I'll just put the bowl of doom right here, and um, that'll be a little bit later. You're going to do this with an with an with a partner, and basically, okay, you and another person are going to be teamed up. And you're basically going to interview them, asking them the questions of this document. If you do a little preview of it, this is um, the name of the, of the person's company that you are paired up with, your particular name there. You're going to turn it in and you're going to get points. I need to see your name, the name of your partner's company. I should have put, I guess, your partner's company name there. and. Then, actually, this is not the right document. Whoops, I uploaded the wrong one. I'm going to fix that in just a moment. But I had it explicitly saying, um, that's the wrong document. What did I do there? Um, once again, I shouldn't do this at 2 in the morning. So um, that's the marketing strategy. OK, just hold on a moment. I know I can fix this in like 10 seconds. Hold on. Leave the student view. You get to see behind the scenes how it all looks like when you're an instructor. Um, just let me remove that. It's not the. It wasn't that one. It was this one. Go client marketing strategy. That should be it. So what this is going to be is that you're going to basically interview your partner and ask them these questions. You're going to fill in these questions for them. There it is. Perfect. Okay, client company name. There it is. So you're going to fill in your name because you're going to get the grade. You're going to fill in your partner's company, the name of their website, right up there. And then you're going to be asking them these things. What does the client want to accomplish? Then there's an example 
and an explanation. You're going to be interviewing your partner to figure these questions out about what's their business about, who's their target audience, that sort of thing, who would care about their website, um, what's their vision statement, and so forth. So this is an example that in the real world, a lot of people are taking this class or these classes to learn how to do web design. Well, eventually you're going to do web design for a client, probably. You're going to do a website for someone. That's the big goal, right? I want to get hired to do, to get paid for making websites and stuff. Well, you're going to need to speak with the client and figure out, let's make you an amazing website. I've got all the skills. I took all of these classes that let me know about your business so I can make you an amazing website. You're going to get some practice with that by interviewing then one of your classmates that you are going to get paired up with in a little while and you're going to interview each other to get these answers now you can do it of course one-on-one -on -one in person you can do it you know online email social media uh, you can tick tock it to each other whatever I don't care you need to just need to talk to each other and get these answers so that you can turn it in like a professional you're interviewing some potential client to figure out what they need to uh, what you need so that they can succeed when you make them a website you're not going to really make them a website in the future but this is an example of what you would do with a uh, with a potential client so you're gonna fill it in with their company name on the top your name you're gonna write down all the answers in this word document and I can put provide a text version if you need that instead you're going to get graded on that if you fill everything out there, and that's due by the 10th of uh, this week, Sunday the 10th. So you have a, approximately a week. That's going to be the assignment there. That's the collaborative assignment for that, and I'll pair you up in a little bit. But that's the idea there. Any general questions uh, of this about how, how it works, the idea? As usual, you'll have lab time to work. We'll have time at the end of the day. We'll have time tomorrow if you're on campus, and we'll have time on Friday. So we have in-class time to work on any of this. And as long as you have your partner's uh, contact info, their email or, or um, iMessage or whatever way for you to contact, you'll be in contact with them to fill this out. And then the wrap-up is, wrap is just th these are the things you should have done this week. You should have done the... Um, so figuring out the pros and cons of a service provider, breaking down the contents of a marketing strategy with a partner, submitting that all in. Next week, I will go through a lecture at setting up a service provider, and that is, as you do the research, you're going to see what the budget entails. I won't reveal it just yet. You need to do the assignment. But it does cost some amount of money to have a real website. You can get free versions, and if you do the research, you might find that out. But usually the paid providers are often better. They have better service, they have better features, etc. They're more reliable, they're not, you know, shady or whatever. So we'll have a lecture on how to do that next time, but this week you're going to do some research. And those are the goals in Canvas this week. Any general questions? All right, let's do our other lecture where we talk about bringing back a, a website that we have backed up via duplicator.